I'm Nick Slate, Chief Executive Officer at the Cooperative Bank. We're delighted to sponsor this Responsible Finance event over the coming weeks. I believe that now more than ever, as we face the true impact of the global pandemic, it is critical for once excluded groups and individuals to have better access to alternative types of finance. This will in turn help the UK and society to recover from the adverse effects of the pandemic, help build stronger communities and drive positive social change. Since we were formed 150 years ago, right through to today, our brand purpose has and always will be to help drive positive social change through banking by challenging and fighting for the causes and issues that, that matter most to our customers and therefore us. Formed in 1872 as the Loans and Deposits Department of the Cooperative Wholesale Society, and ever since then, we worked hard to provide an ethical alternative to the larger high street banks. We were the first and we remain the only UK bank to have a customer-led ethical policy. This policy has been shaped by over 320,000 customers' responses since its launch in 1992. Nearly 150 years later, as environmental, social and governance issues have become increasingly important, our ambition to take a leading position on these issues remains as strong as ever. The global pandemic has amplified the significant impact small and medium-sized businesses have on local economies and societies. National brands are scaling back their high street presence. Local restaurants are diversifying into uncharted waters, such as online channels to fight for business survival. We've seen significant job losses and business closures. These challenges to our local communities are a concern for me as a CEO and personally as an individual. The pandemic has had the biggest impact on our society since the war. SMEs need cooperation and support now more than ever so they can invest, grow and diversify to drive forward the UK's economic recovery. Providing alternative ways for small businesses to access finance will play an important role in aiding our economic recovery and as a result help to drive positive social change. The positive lesson that the pandemic has taught us all is that great things can happen when we cooperate, when we work together for a common goal against all odds and drive forward change we didn't think would be possible. As a bank founded from the cooperative movement, we're committed to keeping cooperative principles and values at the heart of our business and through everything we do. Our impact on society goes beyond the businesses that we are providing banking services to, as we seek to drive positive social change through community initiatives and in cooperation with the partners and charities we work with and through the relationships we continue to develop. Here are some examples of our commitment to building stronger communities. For over 20 years, our community Direct Plus Business Current Account has provided eligible registered charities, community interest companies, cooperatives and credit unions with an ethical way to bank for free. And we're proud to have been recently awarded the best charity banking provider by Moneyfax for the last six years. In addition, we're committed to supporting growth in the cooperative business sector with a total of £1.7 million of funding provided to a specialist business support programme called The Hive. The cooperative movement understands the importance of the CDFI sector in supporting communities and businesses to ensure we provide the right support now and in the future. We have a team of dedicated experts who are committed to working with you. Our relationship manager, Adam Burke, has an established network of relationships with a number of existing community development finance institutions and a proven track record of supporting CDFIs through the Regional Growth Fund Scheme. This programme has been an effective way for us to get more funding into the communities that need it most. And that's why we want to see the responsible finance sector grow. In addition, we're delighted to announce the appointment of a new dedicated relationship manager, Jordan Lazenbury, who has been appointed to provide specialist support and guidance to the credit union sector. We have, and will continue to remain a key champion and supporter of credit unions and are proud to have been the largest provider of banking facilities to this sector in the UK for the last three years. I'm incredibly proud of our unique values and ethics 
and that we remain the only UK bank with a customer-led ethical policy. This and the cooperative values we share with our customers remains at the heart of our business and its purpose. In addition to supporting communities with access to finance, we're also dedicated to driving positive social change in our communities through our charity partnerships. This year, we'll continue to work with Refuge to undertake a review of the impact of digital banking on survivors of economic abuse, publishing recommendations for positive change across the industry. We'll campaign for human rights in partnership with Amnesty International, and we'll continue our support for Centrepoint, the UK's leading youth homelessness charity, having raised over £1.7 million since 2016 to help their mission to end youth homelessness and give all young people a brighter future. We'll continue to work closely with Responsible Finance and its members to provide community businesses with better access to the right financial products to support their recovery and to make a positive impact on society. Ethical then, ethical now. We're the ethical bank for people with purpose.